What's up, y'all? We back. We eating. We just got parked by 3.30 in uh, Illinois. Simone, Illinois. For the Thor. So, I just figured to stop here. Didn't want to park at the Flying J or the Petro, so I feel most safe for parking here. Where it's only eight truck spots here, so and I'm pretty sure they all gonna be here all night. So we got a uh, steak and cheese burrito. We got some kind of pizza pepperoni. A little deal going here. Chicken strips, a Pepsi. One of my favorite ruffles of all ruffles. Not better than the cheddar and cheese. Sour cream, I think. That's my heart. Look. I just thought I'd pull a video up. I haven't put one up in a while. A long while. So I picked up this load right here out of, uh, I picked this load up out of, Oh, Broken Bow. Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Y'all know where Broken Bow at. 259 and 70. Cross link, baby. So, picked up there. Got this lumber. Coming to Wisconsin. Might be some good lumber down there. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Look at that. I'm trying to know about that, man. Ooh. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a lot in my Look at that. Yes, a lot. Mm. Dear baby Jesus. All right. I'm going to try this pepperoni thing out. Mmm. Mmm. I done, I done ate two of the cheese scripts, so I know how these mugs taste. Ah, I'm out. I'm really kind of nervous, man. I ain't been nervous to drive or go places, especially up here. With all the stuff they got going on. You know what the pandemic, as they call it. And the COVID and the protesters, so in 94 tomorrow. Well, I was going here today. But, you know, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and stop shorter because they sent me a message saying they supposed to be protesting today at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock or something like that. I don't want a part of it. I don't want one. Uh, hell no, dog. I'm going to go and shut it down early, bit, dog. I'm going to back it down early. Damn. Y'all, I'm really hungry though, bro. I ain't eating all day. I ain't even eat breakfast this morning. Y'all eat breakfast? Nah, I ain't even eat breakfast this morning. I don't know, I said that back. I ate. But I don't yesterday. I stopped at uh, Nick's on 40 in Arkansas. Stopped there at Nick's. Got barbecue, shrimp, and fish plate. 26. 27 damn dollars. But I ate it for breakfast, so it was big enough to utilize two days. But uh, we parked there. Boys been delivering on the 5th. Don't deliver on the 4th. I only got uh, 100 miles from where I'm at. Going to um, Oak Creek. We get that out tomorrow. Early in the morning, though. Y'all know what's so crazy, though? I don't really drink dark soda a lot. But what's so, it's weird because every soda that my girlfriend drink, I drink. Like if she's drinking it at the house, and that's the only soda that's in the refrigerator. Then when I come out on the road, that's the soda I start drinking. It's not good for me, but I'm a truck driver. I supposed to have a big belly. It's part of the routine. It's part of being a trucker. 
You gotta work out every now and then and eat more. That nigga's little pond out here got some fish in it. I'm thinking whenever they had these, like, these little water puddles around like truck stops and like that, that that water really, really used for to put the fire out and shit in there. Catching a bad boy out of them. The pizza thing is good. It's like, a, it's like a hot pocket, really. It's like a hot pocket made into a pizza. Yeah, it's pepperoni flavor, but it's like a fucking hot pocket. Now, if that bread go underwater here in, the, here, here in the next 30 minutes, I know it's damn fish or something in there. If it go under too damn fast, I know there's something in there I need to get back in my truck. Make sure I don't get bit by ants. I got to look at my ankles. I don't have socks on. But, I am full. Got two chicken strips left. Bag of chips. I'm eating your ass. So you, you don't even worry about it. you going you going into the belly. Yeah, so that's why I was really checking in, man. I'm nervous, man. That's I've been sending some videos. Of truck trucks are getting vandalized, and maybe it's, it's, it's the vans who got to deal with it, but. I don't think nobody wanna steal no damn lumber. If they gonna steal the lumber, hey, just don't just don't turn my damn tarps up here. Just let me take my tarps off so y'all can take that goddamn lumber. And don't cut my damn scrap either. Nah, but I'll bullshit the side though. I just think it's I think it's more of like the van trucks and the refrigerator trucks, cause People don't know the difference between the van truck and the refrigerator, so they just know that them hauls are all the shit that people want to steal. The only people that try to rob me is somebody who owns a construction business or a lumber plant who needs some lumber on their yard or some shit, but that shit right there for flowing, so I don't think they want that down. It's kind of like a nervous wreck for me, man. I, I, I ain't never dealt with nothing like this. I deal with a lot of shit since I've been on the road. I, I've seen and heard of a lot of riots since 2015. I drove hours before, minutes before a riot started in, in different towns. So, uh, protests started. So, uh, I ain't trying to get caught up in the shit. I'm gonna come out here, do my two weeks, take my ass back home. I actually was good. I ain't gonna lie to them. They snack box chicken strips at Thor, Thorons, some shit, whatever it's called, truck stop. Pretty good, man. My burrito will be good for the morning time. Eat my lunch, talk to y'all. I ain't talked to y'all in a while. Been almost like three months since I posted the video. But I'm here as hot as shit, though. I bet it's like 90 degrees right now. Whew. Sun beaming. <coughs> yeah. I usually be tying these on the back of my truck. To get down the road. Uh, yeah. What's happening? Hey, bitch, I'm in the streets, not the end of the street. I can't trust these niggas because yeah. they envy me. Why you trust that bitch? I had her on her knee. Falling in the game, bitch, I'm MVP. MVP. 